Okay, covering the Bobo M2 plus one. So these brackets I've made to clip on the back because the way this tapers up by design, you can't clip on here. And I said, if I make it this size, it's gonna be way too big here. So I've done it so you slide them up to the point where this is gonna meet your ear. And this tab holds the speakers in place, line up your ear. I, I do wanna go further with this and actually add some more adjustability, but I've just not got the time at the minute. So um, for folding this strap back up, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Bobo because this is incredibly flimsy and you are probably going to find with this strap it's not a fault of the actual design here i've made the speakers get as close to your ears as possible but because of this strap and the flex it has you you're probably going to need to maneuver your strap to get it to stop hitting one side of your ear it's not a problem on the kiwi or any elite style strap it's just this m2 plus with the flexi going on here um but what i have done obviously by this design is factor in storing this because i have mine in a little cubby hole on my desk so all you need to do is take this to the back, just let them loose, turn your head strap back up, and then you can just fold up as you normally would. So you've still got all the portability of it, and the speakers themselves, these can just be sort of chucked in a little pouch or whatever, or behind your lenses, um, nice and easy for storing. So I've tried factoring that into the design. What I wouldn't mind um, doing, I could actually use this as an example. I wouldn't mind making, it's probably not gonna come across on camera, I'll probably have to lower this um, brightness here. This is called a hearth joint. So this is, um, maybe a pain in the ass with this camera. So it's like a tooth design. So, see the adjustability here? I wouldn't mind factoring that in to a design around the, uh, the magnets. So that could actually give you some adjustability, but that is a bit of a pain in the ass to 3D print. Um, there might be a way I can just do a couple of points, so it gives you some um, locked rotations, but for the most part, it puts in the right place. The Bobo design is very quick and dirty. Um, if anyone wants to remix this and clean it up, then that's fine, but this tab is um, it's pretty thin. It's not gonna snap off or anything, but it's not as bulky as the uh, the other Kiwi Elite and the Pico Neo one, so yeah, this is, as best as I can do for this design, because I said there is trade-offs with this being wobbly and flexy. So um, with the Bobo, you should be happy with it. But if not, you've got a slight adjustability here um, if you do need to move it back between your ears. But I've, I've done this, so it's in the right place for the few people that I've tried. Um, and as always, the brackets change, not the speakers. So the speaker arms will always be the same. You take that between any headset or head strap and you just change these brackets um, and you can just leave them on your head strap because they do take up no bulk and you can still get them in carry cases. 
So yeah, that's the uh, that's the design for the time being, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Cheers.